Yes. So related to that, then, another question from a student. I've heard that many students tell too many stories about other people, people they've encountered, and not enough about themselves. Mm -hmm. Is that a common mistake that you've seen? It, it's not a common mistake, but it is. it can be a mistake on the part of the student. You know, you have to balance it. That's, okay. that's the tricky part, but that, again, goes back to something we just discussed. If you give it a, you know, enough time and preparation, you will be able to spot those errors in your personal statement. And certainly that's why it's necessary, important, and incredibly important to have someone else read it. Because if after reading it, if after you've asked, had someone read it and they come away thinking, I still don't get a sense of who you are mm -hmm. and why you want to be a physician, then you need to go back to the drawing board. Yeah. I've always been told that, that you should have at least three different people read your personal statement before you send it in. The person who knows you best to, say, to tell you if mm -hmm. it sounds actually like you. Mm -hmm. uh, a person who doesn't know you very well at all, mm -hmm. who's not on the medical side, to mm -hmm. tell you if, it, if that comes across. Mm -hmm. uh, and the person you know who is best at grammar and, uh, and sentence structure. To that tell sounds you like a great mistakes. plan. <laughs> so hopefully mm -hmm. that's helpful for students out mm -hmm. there.